Hello guys, this is a very long video. It's such a long time that I haven't done any English video. And this video is not a slim, simply uh, English practicing video, but it's a real video with which is very informative and helpful to you guys. Um, I made these videos in English because um, I want to share it with everyone, that everyone can understand it because I think what I share with you right now will be very helpful for all the students in the United States, not only for Vietnamese students uh, who are trying to find a job or an internship. I call it like some reasons you cannot find an internship because I actually don't have any like uh, job finding experience. Um, because when I did my internship, the company received me back as a full-time employee. So I didn't have any like, real uh, job finding experience. But what, what I share right now, I think it still can be applied for job finding. But I just call it like a uh, finding internship for now. Okay, and I will give you a little bit about my background. I had bachelor degree in architecture in Vietnam and after graduated I came to Italy to study in master in architecture in two years and after two years I transferred to uh, United States for a master degree in landscape architecture at Iowa State University. Normally a landscape architecture program will be in three years but because I already have two years in Italy and they transferred all the credit from Italy so I just finished my master degree only in two years. Even that or uh, at that moment I mean when I applied for internship I just uh, I just a first year student of landscape architecture master program so I didn't have any experience in landscape ar architecture field just a little bit experience but I didn't show anything in my portfolio so I had to do like, more efforts than the others I did a lot of research uh, did a lot of things talked with a lot of people and I recognized a few mistakes that not only me but some people already had that um, made you couldn't find an internship. The first thing is about the timeline. Well, I talk about the timeline first because it's a very easy thing that, but not many people recognize it because I applied for internship very early comparing to the other because I live with few roommates who were studying in computer science and engineering field. And in that field, they are normally uh, prepared for internship very early comparing to the others. Like for example, if you want to do internship in June, some people start applying for internship in September, the previous September and October, like almost like one year earlier. Whereas some major, it really doesn't need that much time to apply for internship or a job. Like for example, in design field, like my field, other companies, they, they they just hire people like three or four months earlier or even just a month or even a few weeks. I remember when I applied um, in December, some companies they just uh, look for interns in spring semester, whereas I, I just ready in summer, not in spring. So that is one of the reasons like even I sent out a lot of applicants, uh, application, but just few of them reply to me and some of them they just ignore me because they are not ready for that. Um, and the second thing is about the skill, the company that doesn't match, uh, that don't match you. Um, you might think like when you're applying for something, for a job or for internship, you might think the most important that they're looking for an excellent student, um, your talent so you must be very like outstanding and talented right but actually it's not the key to decide if you are uh, the right candidate or not but the company they're looking for uh, the person that will fit what they need so exactly you need to have the skill that they require for so for example I applied for a lot of companies with different uh, scale and discipline, not, not disciplinary, I mean like uh, with different scope of work. And whereas my background is 
is a little bit different from other students. I have a quite like um, diversified background, both in cultural and educational. Um, so when I apply for the small company who's worked with very specific work like residential design, garden design, or plant specific, they didn't see any work in my portfolio that related to their scope of work. So that is like very easy to just kick me out from their uh, screening documents, right? But I received like a lot of feedback from the big company who work in a bigger scope of work. Like for example, Smith Group and SOM is one of the biggest company that I apply for. And actually all the company that respond to my applications are big company because only big company, they work with multiple disciplinary, which is, which is matched with my portfolio. Because in my portfolio, I have a lot of project and the work in big scale, like city scale, urban planning, urban design um, with our uh, uh, different disciplinaries like architecture, furniture, um, interiors, um, landscape architecture. So when I when I apply for that type of companies, like very big with multi uh, disciplinary, they will match me, and that is why they respond to me. But not the small company. So. It has been a while like, when I present like, a lot of application, but no one responded to me and was so disappointed and like desperate, like, oh, if I too bad, or I didn't do a good job or things like that. But after that, I recognize that it's not the point. The point is just like I applied to the wrong companies who didn't need what I have. So first, if you want to apply successful, the first thing you need to do is find exactly the company that fits you. So in order to do that, you need to read their company website. You need to read the job description carefully. And what you look in the company website first about what they do, of course, they, their scope of work, what type of work, what's the type of project, and during uh, when you see their project and their work, you can see like somehow like if their interest is the same as yours. And the second thing you can look at is their leadership position. So if the company have um, the leaders with different backgrounds and different color of skin, so you can tell that that company is very open-minded and diversity, right? It's important for international students because you guys already know that in international students need to have sponsorship to be able to work in the United States in the long term. And when companies, they hire an intern, even an intern just work in a short term, but they, want, they really want to look for someone have ability to work with them in the long term. So the internship is just like a trial time to experience if the interns can work with them as a full time in the future. So if you are someone that they cannot work with you in the long term, just because they are not willing to sponsor for your visa, they will not accept you. So it's the same thing. If you want, if you're not sure if the card company they are willing to sponsor for you, you can search on their website. Even they didn't tell officially like that. But if you see the leadership have different background, different uh, cultural, the people from different country, so it's really a good sign to tell that they will accept you, uh, regardless of where you come from, right? And the third thing that you can see in that company is about like just about the designing of the website so you can know like, their style the information that they have is very like, informative if they share a lot of things so somehow you can know about the cultural so if the company is very preservative um, um, didn't share a lot of the company uh, like information so you can tell like mm, maybe this company is not really like willing to share a thing like that I'm not sure but anyway research on their websites really help to understand their company and even just search for in LinkedIn to see uh, their employee so so that you can understand and the more you understand the company the better you can get a job there. Um, another chance you can do, like you need to create the opportunity to meet the company to understand about them. So like I said in other, comp uh, other video with uh, Neil Kessler, 
if you have a, if you have a chance, you can go to the company and somehow contact the HR or any employee in the company. Go to the company, talk with the people there to understand their culture, what kind of the work they 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 are doing. I think most of the company will appreciate that opportunity because they want to know about the future candidate. But of course, they cannot like go through every resume and then contact to everyone, or they won't have any time to just call you to the companies and talk with you, right? So that is why you just select like few outstanding people that fit to the company to interview. However, you can really make like a big step and skip all the other steps. You can like actively take the opportunity for yourself by just like contact the HR, anyone in the company and then say, hi, I'm really interested in your company. I want to visit you guys to understand more about the guys and have, a, have an opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, would it be possible or like, I will travel to that areas in this state and I really want to take advantage of these occasions to visit you guys and understand more about you guys. I think a lot of companies, they will really appreciate a candidate who actively take the opportunity because it will tell that that person, if we if they accept them in the future they will be actively find a job for a company and will create the opportunity to develop the company so anyway it's just very good size so no hurt to try you just like contact them and if they are really busy and they really don't care okay so it's might not the place for you i remember i contacted a few companies and i met some of them uh once then i came to uh, Washington DC is for the spring break and I contact a company there and I met with the president of the company so it seems like they are really interested with my resume and my portfolio and in that meeting it's like the pre-interview they want me to talk about my work in the portfolio they ask me some question like a normal interview so I just go directly to the like all go through all the, the route cut, right? I just go to the, like, as a top candidate and then talk with the president. But after, after that discussion, both of us feel like we don't match each other because the company, they just do like a very small scale project. Whereas I'm more interested in the big scale project, like a urban design, urban planning, or Anyway, just a big things, but they just do every, only the small thing. So both of us recognize that we don't match with each other. Anyway, so we move on, but it's really a great experience for me to practice my confidence while introducing myself to the other company. And it's happened before I have the real interview with Smith Group and definitely it's helped me a lot. Okay, and uh, the attitude. How about the attitudes? They say like they don't just search for someone with have the skill that they are looking for, but also the attitudes that they want the employee have. For example, in the company, if they really want to have the people that are willing to share with the other, so at the same time they expect you to share with them and someone like that, right? I think one of the reasons why I got the internship in the Smith Group because in the in the interview I talk a lot. Um, I don't just like stay quiet and then just waiting for the question, but I actively ask them the question. And for example, when they ask me when uh, to explain a project in my portfolio, I explain it, give them some discussion, and then I also ask them some question like how do you think about it do you, do you think it makes sense right and then even they didn't ask me that question i uh, talk more about the project and for example they just say like okay what is the project about i talk about what it's about and then what's the benefit what i learned from it so it's really like just share the story to help them to know more about me but i i talk all of this is not like 30 minutes speaking, but it's really concise, like condensed, informative speak just only in few minutes, but it have information on it. So they can recognize that I am the one have very well thought and um, know how to express myself and willing to share the information with the others. So it's also the attitudes and definitely I was very confident at that moment. 
Of course, the confidence I gained from practicing, like for example, with English practicing right now, you can see the very beginning of these YouTube channels when I start speaking English, I speak it's very like hesitated and not very confident in my speaking. But right now, as you can see in this video, I at least I know like I have a lot of mistake, grammar mistake and pronunciation mistake, but definitely my confidence is so much more than the few first video right anyway and the other reasons um uh, i want you guys to know that some people like if you just like applying for a job for a long time you send a lot of application you research about the company but you didn't hear anything positively so you might think about like your application must have some issues or you didn't do a good research. So some people thought that they just go to Glassdoor, Indeed or other website that normally people looking for a job and you thought that it's enough. But no, it wasn't. And in my case, you know what I look what I look for a job. I went not only Indeed, Glassdoor, LinkedIn, like other normal website that people went for when they applying for a job. But I went to ASL, a official website that is the uh, American Landscape Architecture Association website. Uh, I, I believe that every major they may have like some specific website for them. And at the same time, oh, sorry, my battery is run out, so I need to stop video for a bit. Hello, I come back. Okay, I really hate um, editing video, so. Oh, sorry, I, I, I won't cut this part. I just changed my battery. Um, I still need to learn more about the technology to make sure that uh, recording videos will go run smoothly. Anyway, I just talk about, okay, searching for a job. Um, I'm not only going to the normal website that people normally went to when they are applying for a job. I also went to some web website, some specific website that I believe that every major will have. For example, in my field, I went to ASLA uh, website that is American Landscape Architectural Association. So in the website, I go to the job link and not only on that, I went to every chapter. So uh, every chapter is like every state. They will have the list of the companies who work in landscape architectural field. And I contact every company, really. I contact every company. Of course, I didn't contact every state because definitely um, I would send like thousand applications if I did that. But um, I just select like some state that I feel interested to work in that state. And I contact every company or at least every big company that I, I see has potential. So the way I just like, okay, I have the company list. Okay, I check the website and see what they do, what they work, what kind of job they have, or scope of, um, uh, the scope of work. And the same, did a little bit of research about the company and see if it could be a potential company or not. And if they are, I will just send them an email uh, with my resume and portfolio and say, that I, I'm really interested in the company. I want to have a chance to work with you guys. I know that you are may not like hiring someone right now, but uh, please keep my, like, please um, save my uh, documents or please remember my name if you have any opportunity come up, something like that. So, um, I don't know that it's really helped in my case because I just did it for a while and then I got a job offer from Smith Group. But if you didn't do, like, if you didn't have anything, it's not hard to try, right? Because like some company, they might not need people at that moment. But then when you approach them and maybe just like incidents, um, they have the job open position and your name just come up right in time or they will appreciate your activeness. They see, oh, this guy tried to approach her. So it's my like, she's really interested in our company. So your name may be in the top of the list. And when they have position come up, they you just call you instead of uh, put it in uh, any like, other website because when the company, they post a job, they may need to pay for it. 
But if they hatch, they already have like some candidate willing to work with them. Why they know? Why they need to post for other, for the job, right? And especially if you are a good fit to that position, so you got a job right away. Um. So my suggestion just like keep searching and try to explore, it. and don't hesitate to contact the company because you don't know why they don't know when the opportunity will come up and the company they may really know you because i remember uh, when i worked for me for SME group and then i went to other conference and some people in the other company when they see my name and they say oh your name is look very familiar did we meet with each other and i told them no i i don't think we met each other but I did send my portfolio, portfolio to your company once when I was a student. So that is why. And they say, oh, oh I remember you thinking that. And then our conversation is really like smoothly. We, we talk with each other as we already know each other. And definitely we, we did, right? So it's not, it will help you not only in a job application, but also in the long term, in the career. So you, you may like expand your network and just make you feel confidence, more confidence about you. The more people know you, it seems like you are more important. It just like, seems like, like when someone mentions your name and someone say, oh, I know her, I know her. So other will curious, what she did? Why they know her? So she must do something, right? Yeah, so if you didn't have anything positive, just keep trying. And as I told you, like, you didn't have something maybe it's not because you are bad or not good enough it's just like you didn't find the good find the right thing to you and sometimes you are over qualified it's happened it's happened for some student in the small cities when they, you just like, apply for the local company whereas your skill is way more than the company can satisfy you and they may think like if they hire you as an intern in the future you won't work here in the long term because you may find a full-time job in the different like, bigger cities or bigger company, um, something like that. So they prefer to have just local student. So that is why the location in your resume is one thing important because some company, they really want to hire someone. They have families in the local, so it will ensure them to work with them in the long term, right? So if you couldn't find something, it doesn't mean that you're bad. Just keep trying, keep trying, and one day you will have the result, right? Oh, I think it's a long video anyway. Um, so if you have the, any questions or any hesitations, um, feel free to give me a comment and thing like that. I will do the Vietnamese subtitles in few in next few days. I don't know. I, I cannot promise when. It's really take times. But anyway, I hope that videos will uh, this video. Is, will be this video will be helpful for you and good luck in job searching bye bye